Hi, I'm Jora Clokey. Insects can be found almost everywhere you look. All insects are divided into three body parts, the head, thorax, and abdomen. All adult insects have six legs and two antennae. Let's explore the structure, function, and metamorphosis of these fascinating creatures. One of the most interesting characteristics of insects is their ability to blend with their environment. They are experts at camouflage. All insects undergo metamorphosis, or a change of form. There are three types of metamorphosis, gradual, incomplete, and complete. Let's start with a look at this process. Metamorphosis comes from the Greek word meta, which means change, and morph, which means form. The first and simplest type of metamorphosis actually involves very little change and is referred to as a metabolous metamorphosis. This type of development is displayed in primitive insects. The change occurs chiefly in size only. In fact, the only way to be sure one of these primitive creatures is an adult is their ability to reproduce. The juvenile is very similar in appearance to the adult. Primitive insects include silverfish, springtails, and bristletails. These insects have an indefinite number of molts, or shedding, of the exoskeleton. Incomplete metamorphosis is also referred to as hemimetabolous metamorphosis. The three stages of development in hemimetabolous insects are egg, nymph, and adult. Aquatic nymphs are called naiads. The nymphs resemble the adults but do not have functional wings. Their wing pads develop externally. As nymphs develop, the wing pads become more prominent. The last molt results in an adult insect with functioning wings. This insect is sexually mature. Examples of insects with incomplete metamorphosis include mayflies, dragonflies, grasshoppers, walking sticks, mantids, crickets, cockroaches, earwigs, termites, lice, true bugs, aphids, scale, white flies, leafhoppers, and thrips. The most dramatic type of body change occurs in insects that undergo complete metamorphosis, also referred to as holometabolous metamorphosis. The four stages of holometabolous metamorphosis are egg, larva, pupa, and adult. 
In the pupal stage, a complete transformation of the immature insect takes place. Most of us are familiar with the life cycle of a butterfly. It starts life as an egg and hatches to a caterpillar, the larval stage. The larva feed and grow and molt, eventually reaching the pupa stage. In the pupal stage, a complete transformation of the immature insect takes place. An example of this is a butterfly egg hatching to a caterpillar, which enters into its cocoon. Pupation may occur in a silken cocoon, a chrysalis, or some other protective structure. The pupa transforms itself into a winged adult butterfly. Examples of insects that go through holometabolous change include lacewings and antlions, beetles, bees, ants, and wasps, moths and butterflies, flies, and fleas. Insects are unique in having a basic structure that includes three body parts, the head, thorax, and abdomen. Adult insects have six legs, and most also have two pairs of wings attached to the thorax. The ability to fly makes insects unique among invertebrates. The abdomen in insects houses the digestive and reproductive systems. All insects have an exoskeleton, a hardened covering of the body made up of chitin and sclerotin. Insects usually have compound eyes. Compound eyes are made up of many light receptive organs called omatidia. Some insects also have simple eyes called ocelli, located near the base of the antennae. The head also has one pair of antennae. The shape and number of antennal segments vary greatly among insects. For example, this butterfly has knobbed antennae, while this moth has plumose antennae. Antennae are major sensory organs and contain chemoreceptors for locating food, finding a mate, and avoiding predators. Insect mouthparts may be adapted for biting and chewing, or for sponging, sucking, and piercing. A few types of adult insects have no mouthparts and live only a very short time. They feed as immature insects, and the majority of their life cycle is in the nymphal or naiad stage instead of adults. Chewing type mouthparts consist of a clypeus, a labrum, two mandibles, two maxilla or teeth with maxillary palps, and a labium with labial palps. This is the basic design of chewing type insects, but there are extensive modifications among insect types. The midsection of the body is the thorax, which is divided into three parts. They are the prothorax, mesothorax, and metathorax. The thorax is the area of the body for major muscle attachment, 
wing and leg muscles are housed here. Most adult insects have two pairs of wings attached to the mesothorax and metathorax. Primitive insects and some nest-dwelling ectoparasitic orders such as lice and fleas have evolved into wingless forms. Diptera, or flies, is an order of insects that has just one pair of wings. But most other orders that have wings have two pairs of wings in the adult stage. Wings are an important character in making identifications to the family, genus, and species level. Many of the order names are based on the structures of the wings. For example, the order name for termites is Isoptera, which means equal winged. Hemiptera, which is the order of true bugs, means half winged. Lepidoptera, the order of butterflies and moths, means scale winged. No immature insects have functional wings. The class Insecta is another name for Hexapoda meaning six-legged. The front pair of insect legs are attached to the prothorax, the middle pair are attached to the mesothorax, and the back pair is attached to the metathorax. Insect legs are segmented and contain joints. The leg segments are the coxa, trochanter, femur, tibia, and tarsus, or foot. The coxa is the uppermost segment of the leg attached directly to the thorax. The trochanter is between the coxa and the femur, which is the third segment. The femur contains most of the leg muscles. The tibia is the fourth segment, located between the femur and the tarsus. The tarsi are foot-like appendages of the legs. Tarsi often have sensory receptors on them, as well as hooks or claws for grasping. Insect legs may be modified for hopping, swimming, grabbing their prey, or carrying pollen. The abdomen is usually the largest and most flexible body segment. All insects have segmented abdomens. Most segments have spiracles, which are openings to the trachea. The trachea is the internal breathing structure. The posterior section of the abdomen may have cerci, which can be sensory organs as well as filaments for defense or other structures. The digestive tract of insects is housed mainly in the abdomen. The parts of the digestive tract include the pharynx, esophagus, crop, gizzard, ventriculus, malpighian tubules, colon, rectum, and anus. Nutrients are distributed directly into the blood-filled body cavity through the stomach wall. Body wastes in the blood, especially nitrogenous wastes, are cleansed by the thread-like malpighian tubules. Because the food of insects is extremely varied, their digestive systems are extremely modified. The reproductive organs of insects are located in the abdomen. The posterior portion of the abdomen is usually modified for mating and egg depositing, known as ovipositing. Most insects are biparental, that is, they reproduce sexually. These beetles are mating. 
male insects produce sperm, which may be packaged into a structure known as a spermatophore. Females produce ova, or eggs, and also glue for attaching the eggs to a surface. Some female insects can store sperm after copulation in a spermatheca. The sperm can remain viable for years. Ants and termites are examples of insects that can do this. Insects have evolved ways to protect themselves against predators. They can defend themselves with camouflage, spines, and mimicry. Insects also survive due to extremely high reproductive rates. Insects may use camouflage as a way to blend with their background. This can be done with cryptic coloration. Shape can also disguise the insect to look like a piece of bark, a dead leaf, a rock, a twig, or other things in nature. Mimicry can warn a potential predator that this animal looks like a dangerous insect. Insects protect themselves by having spines that sting, cut, warn, and camouflage. Many insects have evolved with the ability to sting with an ovipositor that has been modified into a stinger. Wasps and bees are examples of this. Certain insects have foul-smelling fluids or caustic chemicals to repel their enemies. This particular darkling beetle produces noxious-smelling chemicals that repel birds and other predators. Another method that insects use to protect themselves is by congregating in large numbers for mutual defense. For example, a beehive can be successful at warding off a potential robber of honey by stinging the thief in mass or repeatedly. The world of insects is diverse, beautiful, and fascinating. We've explored the three kinds of metamorphosis. The major body parts and their functions. And insect defenses. The study of insect structure function and metamorphosis allows us to have a greater understanding and appreciation of insects.